Have you ever wanted to capture an image on your screen and immediately use it for a project, publication, or how about a message to IT support? We're going to learn how to do this and more with the Microsoft Snipping Tool, an application that comes with Windows Vista and Windows 7, which I'm currently using. First, let's find the Snipping Tool. This can be done two ways. You can find it under Start, All Programs, Accessories, Snipping Tool, or you can search for it. To make it more easily accessible, we're going to pin it to the taskbar. Currently, the pinning feature is only available in Windows 7. Find the application and drag it to the bottom taskbar. To launch the program, simply click. You can pin pretty much any other application the same way, one of the great reasons to upgrade to Windows 7 if you haven't done so already. I'm also going to create a hotkey for quick access. This particular feature is not limited to Windows 7, and you can also do it with any other program. Do this by right-clicking the application, click Properties, Shortcut tab, go to the shortcut key box, and assign it a key. I'm going to give it S for Snipping Tool. Windows automatically adds Control alt It's going to run in a normal window, Apply, OK. Now all I have to do is press Control alt s and there's the Snipping Tool. Now that we've got our quick launch features in place, let's use the Snipping Tool to quickly capture any section of our screen. Right next to the new Snip box is a drop-down giving you options for different types of captures, freeform, rectangular, window, or screen. We're going to use the rectangular option for now, but feel free to explore the other ones. Simply click and drag the section you want copied. After you have your Snip, the Snipping Tool allows you to alter it with the Pen feature, highlighter feature, or you can erase it if you don't want to include markings. You can also edit the presets under the options to make the snip have a border. You can save it in PNG, GIF, JPEG, or HTML, or copy it and use it in another document, or email it in the body of an email, or as an attachment. Now you can capture anything you can see on your screen and use it immediately.